the emotions like right now? Fantastic. I mean, the guys are obviously happy. It, you know, long road, uh, a lot of tough games, especially to finish the season. But uh, I'm just glad in the, uh, you know, kind of the way we did it. You know, here against a, a tough Indiana team on the road, on a back-to-back, -back, which we've you know struggled with in, in the past. So it's a uh, just a wonderful way to to, to to qualify for the playoffs. What kind of po positive sign is that? The guys are talking to guys on the court. They had talked a lot about not wanting to get help to get in. They wanted to do it themselves and accomplish it themselves and to win back to back on the road. What does that say? And I really felt it the, the past two games. I mean, Milwaukee in tonight, there was just another level of focus. There was another level of, of being locked in and, and uh, I mean, they wanted it so bad, that, that group in there. That, that, and it's just, uh, I don't know, there was an energy, there was an extra energy out there that really pushed us, pushed us over the hump these past two games. Kenny, how would you describe the scene in the locker room after a game? Such a monumental moment for you guys. Yeah, we didn't celebrate like we're winning a championship. We're pretty happy, uh, pretty jubilant, and, and uh, uh, like I told them, you know, the old story. No one believed, you know, you could do it. No one, you know, and I think those are the most beautiful moments in sports. You know, winning a championship. I've never won an NBA championship, but you know, next to that, you know, kind of proving, proving everybody wrong. The predictions, the uh, even their head coach, they proved me wrong. They're much better than I thought they were going to be, and and uh, I didn't know that until I, until I until I got to know that group and the group of guys in there. And then as the season went on, it's meant this is possible. So, um, you know, just a great group of guys in there. Earlier in the season when you guys were on the eight-game winning streak, you said that you felt like the basketball gods were going to reward you guys for playing the right way. And do, do you feel like now that that's been the case? Yeah, you know, every NBA season you go through a tough stretch and, and uh, we all stuck together. And, you know, from ownership to, to Sean to to uh, the players and, and the staff and, and uh, went through that rough time and, and you know, got through the, you know, got through the, the, the tunnel and, and uh, I think that helped us become the team we are today. When did you start to think this was feasible? I, th I think before that road trip, you know, the West Coast road trip, I said, you know, if we can get, uh, you know, two or three wins on that on that road trip, we'd, we'd be in the hunt. So that, that was the first time uh, that I thought it was possible. Where, where did the belief come from with this group starting early on? Where did that belief factor come from? It starts from? with those group of vets in there, Ed Davis, Damari, uh, Jared Dudley. I, I, I think they, the thrust of that group, they, they, they you know, they, they, I think it irked them that I didn't talk about the playoffs. They wanted it really bad, and I think I think they'd helped elevate the group. They helped elevate me, too. And, uh, you know, when you got the right characters and the right mix of guys, that you know, the coaching, forget that. It's it's really about that in there that, that, that gets you to the another level. Uh, to another level. When did you start talking about the playoffs with that group? When did you start talking about it? Well, they started talking about it, you know, mid-season, you know, I, I'd say. And I, I waited till, like I said, that last road trip, that, that West Coast road trip, when I felt like, okay, now, you know, the media keeps badgering me. I got to start talking about it. And, and uh, I relented and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, just drilled, drilled that it, it, uh, it turned out uh, well, especially winning here. I think, you know, how difficult it is to win here, how much difficult we've had with their physicality and, and, and uh, 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 just overall strength is it, it was a great win for us Beat them by, by like 20 on the boards tonight what did that did that kind of underline the commitment uh, to yeah. what you wanted and that was it that's what you know stuck out that, 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 that you know it's the first time I felt like in this arena that we had that level of physicality that level of focus that level of uh, concentration needed to, to, to beat a beat an excellent team like this and, and also for D'Angelo you talk about the veterans but what do you think this means for your point guard your young point guard to get a team to the playoffs. Yeah, I think it's a, uh, another star on his on his uh, uh, resume. I, I, I just think you know uh, he's more than just a scorer. He's more than just a, uh, uh, an elite passer. You know, you're 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 a winner. To me, you wake to make the playoffs. You, you put that on your on your label on your locker. You know, and it's so hard to make the playoffs. We were so far away these past two years. So to so to make this big jump, I mean, that was really unexpected, and and uh, that, that makes it all the, all the more uh, sweet. Players talk about all the hours that you put in in the gym, watching tape. What does this moment mean to you? Yeah, no, and all the hours they put. I mean, collectively, it's it's uh, uh, you know all the, the 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 video sessions and and the practices and uh, I mean we we work hard at our craft. So so to be rewarded, uh, it's, it's like I said, uh, I'm particularly pleased. I, th I think we put in put in the work and and uh, um, just just super happy.